Hey, YouTube, I'm Brick Smith. Sorry it's been so long, but between everything, you understand. Uh, this is Lego's Ultimate Builds. Lego's Ultimate Builds. Uh, we are now working on said treehouse for the 855th day. Yep. We are on Pretty bag much. nine. If you catch up to bag nine or you just want to build along, let me know. We'll get you invited. Uh, real quick, let me move my rum. Yeah, move the rum. No sponsorship. No, no, no. That is not Captain Morgan at all. That would be my rum. I would never, ever mix beer and liquor. Yeah. So in the chat, TJ is going to moderate with Jeff as the rest of us build. Uh, there you go. Dave's ready to build. I'm ready. Before we get started, because I've already dumped my bag, we got four people watching. TJ's in the chat. Doc's in the chat. Zoom. Hello, uh, Doc. TJ. Zoom. Uh, so that, that about covers it. Yeah. And now Shane McQueen's here. We're about the nine people. Hello, nine people that are not watching. And we're going to go ahead and do this first. And we're going to give Dave the screen first as we build. I'm going to get set up. Then we'll go to Keith. What up, Hoopa? Oh, Hoopa. Super Hoopa. hoopa. Sorry about that, TJ. <laughs> what are you apologizing to TJ for? Uh, yeah, landing him right in the brick smith. Uh, <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there he is. Yep. So I see. Love it. He we makes me that. He, he wears it well. That's all yeah, I can say. Yeah. That's right. That's right. He had that same outfit last night or whenever the last time we met was two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> now we need just Jeff to, to be in. Yeah. I'm seeing double. I think I need new glasses. I should go get my bucket. <laughs> but I'm lazy. So did you, uh, did you dust off your model? Who me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I had to dust mine off a little. Bit. I didn't really dust it off. I don't dust. I don't dust them the old stuff. Oh, okay. I got just yeah, just carry the, the dirt keeps it together better. Oh, I see. Yep. So we're on. I'm. I'm. Are we on bag nine officially? Yes. Uh, yes, I think so. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see the parts. The parts are here, and away we go. Yeah, I'm realizing that I don't dust my models because I can't see it until I go do a video, and then when I do the video, it's like, oh, those are dusty. I need to. Clean of, I have not watched your video yet, and I am sorry for that, sir. That's all right. It will Isn't be there. Dark. It's not going anywhere. No. I say after you after you have it on display for about a month or two, then you got to dust it. Yeah, there you go again. Nope, nope. I've got stuff that's been up for two years that I haven't dusted. <laughs> I yeah. have my original, not my original, but my the first first one I did, the huge UCS Millennium Falcon that's sitting yeah. around that's never been dusted, and it was built almost three years ago. Yeah, oh. that's, a, that's a dirty. That's a dirty girl. Oh, yeah, dirty, dirty Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Speaking of. Oh, dirty, What's going on here? Who are you people? <laughs> How did you get in my Lego room? Exactly. It is a pleasure to see you, Jeff. Yes. Good evening, That's Jeff. Cool. We, see went ahead and, we went ahead and went live. Doc so, has a question. He wants oh. to know why this build is ultimate. Ooh. Is this ultimate? Ooh, yes, it is ultimate. Oh. It's a good question. Um, yes. I, I feel like... You know what? Somebody else answered the question. Because we have to hype it, okay? We can't just say yeah, Lego it, building. That's just boring. Yeah. So you got to hype Le it. Exactly. Lego's builds. Yeah. All right, I'm on it. Lego's so builds the reason is just... that it's an ultimate build is because, A, that's how we labeled it. B, because it's a pretty big build. It's pretty iconic. Like, everybody knows the treehouse at this point from the idea set. So yeah. ultimate build. Like, the big rocket that they built. And some other things because I didn't watch the show then, so I didn't pay much attention. You watch the, and you know the ultimate Quinjet. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the yeah. ultimate Quinjet was the smallest set so far. It was. Yeah. Who yeah. built that one with you guys? Uh, TJ. Oh, I did. Oh, TJ yeah. did. Oh, and did Brett yeah. also? Oh, Brett did. Yeah, cool. Brett did as well. Excellent. Yeah. Oof. Nothing worse than using uh, the word ultimate when it's just okay. <laughs> I guess that's an okay comment there, Marco. 
<laughs> All right, I have silly questions if you guys want to answer them again. Sure. sure. That was so much fun last time. All right. I have silly answers. I have silly questions. Did I say answers or questions? You said you have silly questions. I'm the one who has the silly answers. Oh, right. I'll take I'll take care of that for you. All right. So I'm going to start with TJ because he's the top. And that's how it works. I work my way down. Ah. So, TJ, how would you get into Lego? Um, I got a couple of sets as presents for Christmas when I was six years old. Boom, bam. What sets were they? Um. One of them, I don't remember because it was like a, this big red bucket of parts, but the other was, I think it was 7890. It, it was an ambulance. Mm -hmm. And I rem I distinctly remember building that one day, thinking that I did not need the instructions for it afterward, and then it slowly falling apart into my collection. I did rebuy a, a, a second copy of it to have it. And it's yeah. my shelf now. That's impressive that you remember the set number. <laughs> you yeah, just wait for my turn. <laughs> I just looked it up. Ah, okay. No, I I looked it up earlier, and that's how I remember the set number. Plus, it's seven eight nine zero, so it's like yeah. it's numbers going in order. Yeah, and I got a follow up question to go with the original question. So, if it wasn't Lego, what else were you into when you were a kiddo? Mm, when I was really really young, I was into the wooden trains. Mm hmm. And then also briefly, I had some like Imagine X toys and Star Trek toys, but Lego was kind of the definitive toy. Okay. All right, Julian. Same okay. question. 1985. Um, I got six nine five two Solar Transport from the Space Line. It was the biggest set given uh, sold by Space by the, for that year in 1985. Got it for Christmas. Last uh, Lego set I got before 1999. Wow. Yep. Uh, so, I got. I dug it. I liked it. Um, they didn't buy me any more Lego. I don't know why. <laughs> All uh, right. I, I do mention that I feel like I was not loved. So <laughs> that's why. <laughs> so, Julian, did you do you have like brothers and sisters, or are you only child? I have, I have two older sisters and one younger sister, and none of them ever played with any of the Lego ever. Um, and I don't, I don't know why they, uh, they didn't get me any more Lego. I was interested, but hmm. what are you going to do? But my daughter said, daddy, I want the girl Legos. When she was six, I said, let's get this. And then when I sat down and built with her, I was like, holy crap. I don't remember it being like this. All right, done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. if, if it wasn't Lego, what were you? You grew up in the '80s, so I'm I'm thinking GI Joe maybe, or, or what were you? Here's a fun story about GI Joe because my parents didn't love me. I wasn't allowed to play with Cobra, but all I had was GI Joes. Okay, but, but here is here is my number one. Uh oh, did we lose you? We just lost him. Yep, we lost Julian. Right in the he's middle gone. of speaking. Oh, um, maybe he's leaving it up for suspense. Yeah, that must mm -hmm. be it. I run the show. I do what I want. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so this is my number one passion of the 1980s and 90s. Oh, Nintendo. Come on, focus, you mother. So you were thin and trim with those suspenders, bud. Also had a mullet. A flat no mullet. Oh, boy. Very getting cool. It. Getting it, getting it, getting it. <clears throat> That's how I spent all of the the rest of the 80s and 90s, and it was sexy. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, so, right, yes, baseball cards, G.I. Joes, uh, Nintendo, and then Sega Genesis because I was too cool for Super Nintendo because I wanted my Famicom. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> All right, geez, how'd you get into it? Uh, as a youngster, it was a bulk kind of um, set, like the big red bucket, like uh, TJ was saying. It was one of those things where, you know, build what you want, here's a bunch of pieces. Uh, never really kind of got sets 
when I was younger, unless they were like really small where you buy them at like the drugstore or the supermarket type of thing. Um, and uh, what else is as a youngster was the Nintendo, like Julian, and then uh, oh, yeah. uh, my parents encouraged us to play outside a lot, so it was uh, uh, BMX bikes. I had a Huffy, they didn't love me, yeah. I told you. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, going around the trails around uh, the neighborhood I lived in and stuff, and so that was uh, the other stuff as a, as a young stuff, young stuff. All right, Dave, we all know how you got into Lego because you bought the Falcon, and then you were like, I'm going to keep doing this, and then it turned into an obsession, and then your spare bedroom became your Lego room because we, we've all heard it. So what were you into when you were a youngster, like toy-wise? Did they have did, toys back then? Or did you yeah, you know, it was, like, it was like, you know, stone tablets and chisels, and, yeah. you know, we, we made our own toys. Um, I wasn't going there with it, but okay. I did a lot of radio-controlled cars. Ooh. And and actually, when I was in my early twenties, and I still have it, I don't know if it works, but I built from a kit a radio-controlled hovercraft, and I'm not talking like a little wimpy one. I'm talking about one that used a gas-powered RC plane engine with a tri-blade prop, and it was a fiberglass body that you actually had to finish it yourself, and it was probably two feet, two and a half feet long. And wow! That, it's interesting driving a hovercraft. In a, on a normal street because they don't have brakes and you can hit curbs easily. <laughs> you have to learn to get really good at, at basically rotating at 180 degrees and goosing the throttle so that it comes to a stop before you hit anything. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All right, so Keith, yeah. what, was, uh, what was your favorite car that you've ever owned or that you've ever sat in? We'll go with those questions. Oof. Um. Porsche Boxster? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Did you own it or sit in it? Uh, it was my older brother's. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. So. Hmm. I got to listen to cars. Didn't, didn't drive it because I don't do stick. So. Yeah. Yeah, let's. Um... Let's check up on the chat briefly. Brett yeah. says Dave played with Lego as a kid, but it was the wooden toys era. <laughs> yeah, thank, yeah, thank you, Brett. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. We got James McCleister, howdy from hello. New Jersey. Hello, hello. Hey. And Tom Straw says cousin Keith used to like to work on, used to like to work Hyundai cars. I used to own my very first car was a Hyundai Excel that did anything but Excel. <laughs> <laughs> and here's 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 you know one that's it's it's really not a good car. When you can go to the junkyard to find parts for it, yeah, it's not a good car. Right? <laughs> and and by, and by the way, for that statement, you could spell it E X C E L or A C C E L, and either one would apply. <laughs> Hello, Nerdbrick One Hundred and One. Hey there, Brick. What's going on, man? All right, TJ. Same question. Okay. The uh, the only car I've really ridden in and driven in. Well, I've driven in several cars, but right. the main one that I use is my 2006 Volkswagen Beetle. Cool. And cool. I love it because it's small and easy to drive and easy to park, and it gets yeah. good mileage. Yeah. What kind people, of mileage do you get? People drive by and they're like, "Can I park there?" And you just go, "No, I do." <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, his question. He said, "How how 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 well how good is the vast mileage?" I don't know. I just know that it's cool. good. Okay, it works. All right, Dave, you're up. My favorite car that I've ever owned oh. is the one that I own now, which is a Tesla Model S. I, I have never found it, and it's interesting because I'm not a luxury car person by any means, but I am a tech head, yeah. and I like I wanted the I like the idea of having something electric. And mm -hmm. I had one of the very early, early Tesla Model S's. I've had one since er, like Jan December of 2012. And oh. after I drove one for a while, it's like, I don't want anything else. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, so, Dave, wow. you had one when they first came out then? or? Yeah, the serial numbers start at one. And I'm sure that the first, you know, a few hundred were never sold. My first car was serial number 2625. Oh, oh wow. So uh, before I even answer my part of the question, I'm going to just say I don't trust Tesla at all for the like for them, and they will be taking over. They are Skynet and will be taking over the world before too terribly long. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy your luxury car till it eats you. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, Julian. Tell us how you really feel. Oh, no, no. I, I can't even. I don't even. I don't even know. I don't even know. All right, Julian. Favorite car that you sat in or that you owned or whatever. <laughs> Favorite car I've ever sat in and ever owned are the same one. It is a 1987 white S10 pickup truck that was a Ford public utilities truck before I got it with an AM radio and no air conditioning in Florida. Oh, wow. I so rode what? that bitch to the wheels fell off. You did, <laughs> not need it. you did not need a key for the ignition, and the windows didn't roll up because they had been broken into several times. <laughs> I the ignition to, keys I, are overrated. You guys see the uh, you guys have seen wrestling where there's no rules or whatever, and they break stuff. Yeah, I used to, I used to beat up my truck. Ah. <laughs> it was a beautiful thing. One time I put my elbow through the windshield. I was fine. Uh, <laughs> it was absolutely the, the greatest vehicle I have ever owned. It was so great. It had a um, a butt indent where my ass goes, <laughs> and it was. <laughs> Perfect. And also, you know how you lock in the seat and it doesn't slide forward or backwards? Well, the passenger side was never latched. It was, the <laughs> latch was broken, so every time I hit the brakes hard, the person the passenger thought they were going to go through the windshield. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Seatbelts or no seatbelts? Uh, I had seatbelts, but we didn't wear them. And that's the fair. Most, and the most people we got, ever got in it was five in the front, and it was just a single, regular that truck and it was me and four girls and you're fucking well <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe that's why i didn't play with lego in the 90s yeah <laughs> sorry yeah, you had other things you had other things to play with so i wasn't i wasn't trying to outdo all of you but nanner nanner boo boo <laughs> oh no I'm about, to, I'm, I'm about to show you all up and please second. do oh, bring, bring the pain sir i'm gonna share my screen and i'm gonna say when so all right when okay here it comes Oh, oh, that's cool. That's fun. That is fun. Nice. Good touch. Where was that at? That was at uh, Phoenix Comic Con a couple of years ago. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my buddy Chris owns the car, and he lives in, or he lives in. He lived in Chula Vista at the time, and he brought he he brought it to a couple of Comic Cons, and uh, it works. It drives. It's a piece of shit, though. <laughs> what, I, yeah, what, I will, what I will say, Jeff, yeah, I actually got to drive one of those for a couple of days. It's a long story, but it it, it doesn't have a lot of acceleration. But the, the biggest thing I remember is the view outside the rear window is basically non-existent for the driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little porthole. <laughs> yeah, especially when we have all that crap in there, like the flux capacitor and everything else. Like yeah. Exactly. The important know? shit. <laughs> right. So meanwhile, you're driving this DeLorean that's worth some money, and then it's been modded to look like the Back to the Future DeLorean, which has more money. And my buddy is like, okay, just back it up. And I'm like, uh, nope. Maybe you should do this, and I'll direct. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But it was fun, though, because we did get pulled over by the police in downtown Phoenix. Oh. And we were, we were taking it back to its trailer. And uh, the cop was like, uh, we weren't going fast, officer. And he just kind of smiled and was like, yeah, but I hear once this thing gets up to 88 miles per hour, you'll see some fish. <laughs> and he just let us go. I was like, Did he seriously cool. do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That dude that's, pulled us over just to say that. That's pretty funny. And then it's not a big car. Yeah. <laughs> you telling me about the time machine small. out of a DeLorean? Huh? Yeah. Are you telling uh, me you build a time machine out of a DeLorean? <laughs> well, yeah. I figure if you're going to build a time machine, you got to add some success to it. <laughs> exactly. We got Jesse's Brick Galaxy. Hey, Jesse. In the chat. Hey, Jesse. What's up, Jesse? Dude is, oh, Judith is here. Hey, dude, dude. Hey, dude. Oh, dude, Jude. Dude. Dude. Judith. I like it. Judith. Judith. All right. So we're going to move to the Lego realm now. And that way, all the people that are like, why aren't they talking about Lego? We'll talk about Lego. Um, TJ, what's your favorite non Ninja Go uh, minifigure? They don't exist. Oh, that'd be that's <laughs> difficult. It's got to be one of the Space Police figures, but I'm trying oh. to decide which one. Oh, one, two, or three? Three, because that three. was my first theme. There you go. Um, mm. <laughs> the 
Craniac, probably. Yeah. He's one of my favorites. Craniac on the floor. <laughs> I also like the Skull Twins. I let pretty much all of the Space Police 3 aliens were really, really good. They were. Yeah. That's for sure. All right, Julian, you're up. Oh, what's the question? I'm sorry. What? For, what? What's your favorite Lego minifigure? Oh, that, that's so. <clears throat> Oh, let's just say Abraham Lincoln regular. That's boring. Oh, you're right. You're right. He's absolutely boring. It's Scrooge McDuck. My bad. All right. There you go. Riding an ostrich. Boom, bam. <laughs> Sorry about that. Julian, what's your favorite Ninja Go character? This is from Brett Hooper. Oh, my favorite Ninja Go? Yeah. Mm, Pixel, because it was the first one we ever had because Brittany thought it was cool. Boom, bam. That's a good answer. Yes, sir. That, that gets TJ approval. <laughs> good. And it's the one and it's one from the um, the micro sets that that's not that's that's the pixel we got. Oh, oh nice. Not the micro one, but the regular size one, but then they used her in that set. 10 4. Yeah. 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 David, ready. what's your favorite uh, Lego minifigure? I was gonna say I'm not sure I can answer either of those. I can't answer the Ninjago one for sure because I don't know anything about Ninjago. But what's Ninjago? I, I haven't. Yeah, Ninjago. But I haven't been that much into minifigs, so I don't really pay that much attention. I, don't throw I, things at me. I don't. I don't like them either. <laughs> I said don't throw things at me. Uh, fine. <laughs> All right, Keith. Yes. Favorite minifigure go. I like the ET from Dimension. Solid wow, choice. that's a good one. Cause Cause I solid yeah, because I grew up with E.T. Oh, I just yeah. watched E.T. today, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah, at least a little bit of it anyway. <laughs> TJ, get out that tape. <laughs> I got tape. Yeah. Get out that flex tape. Flex. I got tape. This is mine. And favorite Ninjago is... is I'm oh. Gonna, I'm going to go with uh, Master Wu. Oh, oh yeah, I've got Revan, too. That's one right there. you got to respect the elder. Here, this is the second one that's, uh, there we go. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, man, this is so cool. Captain America. Yeah, NYC 2012 exclusive Captain America. There it is. So, so Keith, what are you on? Like, these old boys don't even understand what you talk about. I know. <laughs> you guys want an Iron Man? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> So um, Keith, Keith, what step are you on? Three eighty-two. <laughs> oh man, seriously? Yeah. Holy cow! Okay, I got to speed up. All right, what step am I? What step am I on? Whew. I'm on three seventy-one. Three seventy-one. That's me too. So Dave, uh, guess what I did? What did you do? I uh, took a part by one Oh, is that cool? Why? But I took it apart in reverse so that it's all bagged. In oh, reverse. good idea! I learned. I learned from. I learned from this guy from this Apollo Five yeah. rocket. Ah, oh, yeah. Do that for the bigger build. For the bigger build, you know. I, I figure my cost is probably like seven hundred pieces. Once it's above that, do the bag. Otherwise, just dump all the people want that. That makes. Sense. And I presume you took this apart because of your upcoming event. You got it. Wait, what's happening? You got it. What's happening, Keith? I am going south. Oh my! I know. Believe it or not. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Yeah. Alrighty, so we'll start from the bottom this time. Which is Dave Arino. Dave Arino, what's your favorite wheeled Lego set? My favorite wheeled Lego set. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Again, I don't. I don't have a large. Group from which to pull. You don't have to own it; just love it. What about a mock? What about a mock that you built or, or anything like that? With wheels. <laughs> with wheels. With wheels. I don't think I've built anything, any mocks with wheels. But you didn't build any Jurassic Park jeeps or anything with your massive oh, Jurassic. I did. Yeah, those, but those aren't. My, but but they're not my design. <laughs> Though that was the in, that was intentional because uh, yeah, the cohesiveness fired. of the collab. Dave, you're well, they had a design. Go ahead. Did you like building it? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Is it, that was is it your favorite? Is it your sure. Favorite? All right. There we go. Well, that, that was just way too much work, wasn't it, Jeff? Stolen effing teeth. <laughs> exactly. Um, so maybe one day you'll be able to show us the brick built version of that because I know you still got it in studio, I think, right? Or is it actually brick built now? Oh, I have it brick built, but this is kind of fun too. I built this okay. just just a couple of weeks, a couple of Tractor. weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Hold oh, on, we got to throw them on brick screen. All right, run tractor, run tractor, run boy, run. So that oh, one's kind yeah. of fun. And I have another tractor. I can't. Where's my oh, down over there? That's you know about hair hay bales. I think we need that. So, so that's kind of fun. Do you think my tractor is sexy? Dave, the hay yes. bales are I think unique for that tractor. Hey, yeah, that was one of the big reasons I wanted one was to see what those pieces were. Hey, and, and they are cool. <laughs> Keith, what's your favorite wheel Lego vehicle that you've built or that you've owned or whatever? The Lego, uh, the ultimate Dapple wheel. Ooh, Ooh that's cool. That's that good. Really, nice. that is a really cool build. If anyone has not built that yet, then go on Brooklyn now and buy it. <laughs> Keith, are you found that your Brickling store? I finally opened my Brickling store. There you go, folks. I actually do not have one of those in my store, I don't think. Oh, well. Yeah. Julian, what's your favorite wheel be like a vehicle? <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. It's going to blow your mind. Y'all boys ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready for this. There you go. Duck. <laughs> oh. Why? Because it's silly. It's so silly that it has to be my favorite. Yeah. That's right. All right, Mr. TJ, same question. All the things go. Um, I could, there's two that I'm trying to decide between. One is the Ultra Stealth Raider mm -hmm. from Ninjago, and the other is the Diesel Knot from Ninjago. I think I'd have to go with the Ultra Stealth Raider, though, Wrong. because I like that one more. You got that one wrong. But the di but the diesel knot is also really good. <laughs> that is the correct answer. Isn't that the one from like Fury Road that's not from Fury Road that they were like mm -hmm. totally yeah. not a war rig. Definitely our war rig. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, love it. You yeah, are that's correct, sir. Exactly what it was. <laughs> and we are seeing how many Kim Alice is you know, post about watching Star Wars and Yeah, anyway. All right. <laughs> All right. So we got those out of the way. Those are some important questions. Uh, Julian. I know him. That's cool. So, what three Lego sets could you survive with on your own? Like, if you get onto a desert island, you're hanging out on the desert island, and you're like, well, I have plenty of supplies, but I can only bring three Lego sets with me because these are really specific rules that Jeff set up. What three? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's just let's, let's just let's just do this and go with the three biggest sets that Lego created, because you'll have as many parts as you need, even if they're all F and tan. That's fair. <laughs> and gray. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do. I would just get the big boys to take with me. No love. Just the big boys, so I could have the most parts possible. Maybe build a raft. I mean, we could. What? Oh <laughs> man, why didn't I just say bolt holes? <laughs> <laughs> well, just wear my like shoes. You'll be fine. <laughs> That's what I would do. Fair enough, uh, Mr. Dave. I would say one of them would be the set that I would still love to get at some point, and that is the UCS Imperial Shuttle. And then for some color and variety, probably the old fishing store. Oh, yeah, if you I'm, like sand green. I'm not going for part count. I'm just I'm going for what I like. Yeah. And and what would the third one be? I don't know. Maybe the maybe the UCS Millennium Falcon, but there's a lot of good sets out there. That's a hard one to answer. But those two for sure. Fantastic. Keith, Desert Island, three Lego sets. Go. You're muted. <laughs> <laughs> that's because that's, that's I was opening bags. Um, I was sure. the Millennium Falcon, the uh, Ninjago City for the color ver verity, and then um, is there a mo is there one coming out or was there already one produced? Amelia Earhart. Uh, I think it's coming out. I think that's coming out. So so I won't get stranded until you know a few months from now. So that way I can have the Amelia Earhart one because come on, right? Yeah, that's right. Together. 
So that said, that does look awesome. That that Amelia Earhart. I want to build space like the air pirates with it and do the other things. But yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. TJ, three sets go. Uh, Ninjago movie Destiny's Bounty, Ninjago Temple of Air Jitsu, and Hyperspeed Pursuit from Space Police Three. Oh, wow, I thought they'd all be Ninjago. I'm shocked. I'm glad they're not. They they were, and then I changed one of them. Show <laughs> wow, your growth, TJ. Good job. <laughs> yeah. What else? I got to ask about you. What yeah. about me? You haven't answered any of these. He no, I haven't. The car. He answered the car. I answered the car. Yeah. Yeah, you need to answer some of these. I want to hear yeah. your answers. Ghostbuster Firehouse. Because yeah. that's a thing. That would be a definitely a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Aquanaut Sea Lab Biggin set, like the big underwater Neptune thing, that would that would definitely come with me. Yeah. And I think uh, for the last one, uh, the Haunted House from the Monster Fighter line that wasn't part of the Monster Fighter line, but they slapped that title on there anyway. Those are sharp. Yeah. Those are smart move, really. I think I think those are yeah, those those I wouldn't kick them out of bed, no. Yeah, no, I wouldn't either. No. <laughs> All right, so Julian, if you could build a town, like a Lego town, this is gonna be everybody's question. So y'all y'all keep this in you mind. Mean a Lego city like I did? Yeah. I don't well, yeah, like you did, but yes. what what sort of style would you want to do it in? So, so you could do it all over again. If I could do it all over again, I would I would go back to the place where I once was, which was uh, I did a city in multicolor. Mm. Everything was uh, not everything. The big builds were rainbow, <clears throat> and just because I wanted them, just because I was doing quote unquote Lego on a budget. There you go. And I enjoyed it, and other people seem to like it as well. Uh, some of them I think were just full of shit. That's fair. <laughs> that never happens in our community. No. No. Not never. Right <laughs> <Ooh. Maybe. laughs> Same question. For me? Yes, sir. Uh, I think I'd want to try steampunk. Hey. My man. Yes. There's an awesome steampunk build that happened recently. I don't know if y'all saw it or not. I'm going to try to find it. But Keith brought it up, so I'm going to do the thing and press what button. What the hell did I miss? You missed a lot of things. Uh, 3.392. What did I miss? <laughs> I haven't made it 3.92. These are extra. This is, this is terrible. I don't even know. It's extra now. <laughs> <laughs> what you missed is adding whiskey to your beer. That's the what, that's, that's what, what I did. You know what? You were correct. I know you will. Yeah. Hell. Really, you seem to build better when you're inebriated, so it's fine. I, yeah. I'm drinking beer as we speak. <laughs> Just not enough. Oh, boy. Don't drink, kids. Unless you're 21 or 30, whatever the drinking age is. Now. Unless you're 21, exactly, or, you know, if it's, it's in the ground, it's okay. If it's a chemical, it's never mind. Yeah. <laughs> only, only, only drink if you're 21 or an alcoholic. Yeah. Well, you know. Hey, what's the difference between an alcoholic and a drunk? Uh, good question. That is a good question. Alcoholics go to meetings. Hey. 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 I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> All right, there it is. So give me one second. I'm going to do some screen sharing. Okay. Yep. No, they're not in here. I don't know where the hell they go. They're All right. So share button. Share screen. Press the button. Do the thing. Open up the tab. All right, there you go. It should be up. Ah. Ooh. Nice. Check that out. Yeah. I like it. I like it at all. You don't like it? I so, like it a lot. You know, I'm, that's very cool. I'm, wait, I'm wait, much wait, in love wait, with that. Back. You said go back. I'm going back. One more. Yeah. Oh man, that is so cool. I love the uh <laughs> the raised track. Can you zoom in on it? Yeah. I'm already on it. Yep. Uh yes, Miss Brick Kitten, this is still the treehouse. Hey Miss Brick Kitten. Yeah, there's just 
There's the just heart. so much character in that, Jeff. That's just crazy. Yeah. yeah they've yeah. got closer up images of the little vehicles. Like, that's the blimp that they got going on. Yeah. Um, a couple of other close ups, too. Jeff built it all by himself. Oh, all absolutely. It was, just, it was just me. All that's by right. I found yeah. the parts. They were in step number three of the friggin' bill of the bag. Oh. Anyway, this yeah. dude is called the Brick. There we go. The Brick Rebel on Flickr. You should go check him out. But look at this. Is that too far? That looks too far. That's beautiful. Uh, yeah. that's, that is very cool. I like the snake as the smoke. That sharp. I like that mech. That is a very cool mech. Look at the smoke coming out of the mech. Yeah, I, I love it. Those snakes. Yeah, sir. <laughs> yeah, I heard uh, Ninja Ninjago had a couple of those in their sets there, TJ. <laughs> yeah, I have every color of those. <laughs> look at that. Look at like, the guy in the top hat. That's cool, man. Yes. I respect that. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's uh, keep going. I guess we're doing a slideshow edition. But, yay! Yeah. That's cool. Rubber Ducky, you're the one. <laughs> you make bath time lots of fun. <laughs> ah, it's cool. The detail on this is nuts. I wonder how long the street is. I know, right? Okay. All right, there's the choo choo train that we all wanted to see. Yeah. Yeah, that is just. Yeah. I mean, how many pieces is that? How much did it cost? That's just. I like how they use so the, cool. the track for the doorway there. Mm hmm. <laughs> I like that they have that, yeah, that little like monorail thing on the side. That's good. Not a monorail, but like trolley. That's awesome. Yeah. You're a monorail. Uh, I'm, I'm not made anymore. What? <laughs> but even the brickwork on the building is like the textures and everything else. Like, that's magnifique. I respect that. Yeah. With all yeah. My I liked it when it was small. Now it's big, and we can see it. I love it even more. Yeah, I was going to ask you to say "magn." I was going to ask you to say "magnifique," Jeff, but you already are those, did. Are those bolt holes turned yeah. upside down? The air bolt hole turned upside down. No, those are separate pieces. Those are looks like that's from the. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, that piece. Yeah, that, that's I, yeah, upside I, down, isn't it? I think it is a bolt hole. Yeah. I don't know. It looks like it's from the uh, the sail barge. I'm sorry. I spy, I spy a Ninjago crown piece on that building behind it. You would. But that is a cool boat. That is sharp, man. Yeah. All right, we're going to go to the next one. There is. Ooh. Look at that airship. That is sexy. Wow. That's dead sexy. Man, that is gorgeous. Comfortable day for the steampunk. Yeah. All right, Keith, you got a lot of live up to live up to when you build your steampunk city, just so you know. Yeah, give me time. Give me time. <laughs> Look at that elevator. That is amazing. Yeah. Oh wow. Very cool. Yeah. I'm digging. I'm digging the uh, the fan the fan power back there. This Windmill. one. Yeah. Yeah. Windmill. Yeah. I like that. There's like a guy. It looks like he's on a hoverboard or something. Like right there. Good test. That's cool. Well, all right. Let's see what we got. Through. We got a little dingy. Uh -huh. Mooring. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I hope there's another close-up of that of that zeppelin right there. It looks like they got a cool little cockpit. Yeah, cockpit. Um, <laughs> he said, he said, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, cockpit. All right, so this is what we've got. Oh man, I can't see, but okay, those controls are cool in there. They are cool. Yeah, I've been more fascinated with like how oh, Lego. Hi. Look on the wing. Look right there? At, yeah, look at the uh, look at the diver's helmet. Yeah, that's an awesome piece usage. <laughs> Do the damn yeah. thing. They got wings and uh, all the globes there are on the side of the Yeah, on piece. top of that Ninjago crown piece. What are you talking? Why do you even... Do <laughs> you even Lego? Love you, TJ. What are those tiles? Those light blue... Are, are, what are those? I can't. This must be the the eight by either eight by eight or eight by sixteen. I would say they're eight, eight by sixteen. Those are look like they're, what they are. They look like they're six by something, but yeah, maybe they're five, six yeah. by something. I don't know. Six by six. They're no, not. they're eight. They're eight because that's six right there. Seven. Four. Eight. No, that's four. 
That's four, and then the, the stud would be the next row of studs would be six. I can't do math. Right. Right. That's no. right. Yeah. That is four. Holy crap! Yeah. Wow, brain. So yeah, those may be six. They do did make six by sixes at one point. Yeah, yeah, they do have six by sixes. They still make them. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of them, though. I've never seen that many in one place before. Yeah. That's a very expensive zeppelin. Yeah. Yes. Ah, uh, a little air balloon there. That's awesome. Worth every penny. How'd they do the um, the balloon? It's or the basket. It looks like they just used the connector hinge pieces on the bottom and built up from there. Okay, oh, are those wow. droid arms or no? Yeah. Those are droid arms uh, that are used yeah. at the connecting bar. That's cool. These are the droid arms you're looking for. Yes, they are. That's yeah. awesome. The telescope is even great, too. Man. <laughs> Why can't we build like this? What's going on here? We have people that do build like this. They're just not That's true. <laughs> Jeff builds like this. Who? Yeah, Jeff Wendon, he does. <laughs> Grant so, Davis built kind of like that. Yeah. All right. How happy is that kid back there? What? <laughs> How happy is that kid by the by the rail? I don't know. That's pretty young. He's teenage. congratulations. Muzzle. Oh, Neo Victorian, <laughs> Mr. Kitten. That's <laughs> awesome. Nice. Yeah, uh, you got Eminem bricks in the chat. What's up, Eminem? Hey, Eminem. Hey. Yeah. What's up? All right, so. Uh, Dave, if you could build a city, what style of city would it be in? Um, I Super kind of like, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be a theme. It's more of an architectural style, but I love, <laughs> love, love modern buildings. That's, I'm, I'm trying, that's one of the next things I want to design as a mock is some kind of a modern building. I just need to get a little bit smarter about the specifics of what makes a modern architecture modern. Um, but I've already been looking at a bunch of, uh, images on Google Images to get ideas, and I just I love lots and lots of glass, big big expanses of glass and that kind of stuff. So that's that's what I would probably do. Awesome, TJ. You can't say Ninjago. What kind it of style did you build? It wasn't going to be Ninjago. <laughs> no, now it is. <laughs> I've thought about exactly. this question before. Uh, when I when I eventually do a city, I want to do kind of like more of a small town with a lot of surrounding countryside, a lot of oh. nature. Because that's what I really like to build. Oh, that's so, awesome! Yeah, yeah, so that's what I do. There would not be, there wouldn't be very much Ninjago involved. <laughs> it looks it, cool, but it doesn't it really make its a way good city. In. Yeah. It would yeah, sneak its way in here and there. But yeah. yeah, it would be an Easter egg. Yeah, it'd be the court. Uh, what do you call it? A, do a dojo. Oh, a dojo. Yeah. yeah. There's no fear in that dojo. <laughs> wax off, wax off. No mercy either. No mercy. No mercy. Oh, boy. Uh, I would build Cyberpunk City because I really liked that movie Blade Runner, and that's been my favorite aesthetic ever since I was a wee lad. Nice. Cool. Uh, Cyberpunk is awesome. All right. So, more questions. <laughs> so, Julian, if you could take credit for any great human achievement, what human achievement would you take credit for? Mm. Remember earlier when I said I like I love Abraham Lincoln? Yeah. Yep. I take all that credit. You'd want to make love to Abraham Lincoln? Yeah. Yeah. Um <laughs> what he did to save the country totally, uh, as an all encompassing and then signing the uh amendment to free the slaves. That yeah. Fair enough, yeah. Yep. Yep. Keith. Man, you answered. That was my answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave. <laughs> uh, Pass. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, pass. <laughs> Aww. Let me think about that for a minute. I will. TJ, go ahead. My internet just dropped out. So if you ask me what mine is, pass because I have no idea either. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little on more on the serious side and say the, the guy who, who invented the artificial heart. Oh there you go. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good yeah, because yeah, mine wasn't serious. <laughs> 
I can say whatever I want. The worst you can do is kick me off the stream, right? Yeah, I'm not going to kick you off the stream for that. <laughs> no. The only reason you want to be that guy is because you need one. No. Oh. <laughs> Womp, womp. Dave, we hope you're okay. Please don't ever die. All right. We're good. Okay, I'll work on that. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, I would probably. Yes. What I would do. Um, Albert Einstein. There I would like to all of his uh, credits except for the nuclear bomb part, but everything yeah. else, though. Yeah. Uh, like science. He's a cool guy. He sucks at math. I suck at math. There you go. Uh, Here's a fun. Here's a fun fact. I had a picture of him hanging up in my locker when I was in uh, middle school. That's cool. cool. Yep. That's actually very cool. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't like science. I just liked him as a guy. I thought he was awesome. Yeah. And what, he is. Was it a picture of him sticking his tongue out? Yes, sir. It sure was. Uh, <laughs> it was. You know, what step are you on, Keith? Like four hundred and seventy or something? Four oh eight. 398. Oh, wow. I'm at 403. So you guys suck. <laughs> Minding my own business, you know, kicking my ass. Come on. <laughs> this is what you get for inviting us to your stream. I know, right? That'll teach you. Hey, some of us are savoring the day. Thank you very much. Hey, I'm, I'm, I thought I was building slow. I'm surprised that Keith hasn't lapped us. Well, you know. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? Hey. I'm on 403. Okay, yeah. And we're right around the place. 399. Yeah. Man, yeah. what do you said? We're good. We're good. We're doing good. How are we doing? All right. We're doing, we're doing your audio is crap now, all of a sudden. Oh, mine? It yeah. Was. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's not It's not ideal. <laughs> it's a nice thing to say. Stop saying it's nice. Try to adjust the tachyon flow through the plasma relay to get the uh, clues that's going. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nailed Couldn't it. have said it or, or, you know, is the flux capacitor fluxing? I don't know. Maybe it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just... Uh-oh. <clears throat> I might have made money. Hang on. Oh, huh. right, I'm going to step away from it. Yeah. Okay. It's not bad, Keith. It's just a little bit far away. That's all. Hold on, Jeff would have just lost us. Actually, that's yeah. He he's yeah. That's he's putting out a lot of noise. Yeah, he's putting out a lot of noise. Yeah. Okay. I'm telling you. Oh, uh, that would be the huge, gigantic uh, vacuum cleaners that I have going oh. in to evaporate the water that is in our kitchen. Oh, what? I'll be back. Okay. The water that's in the kitchen. And I'm assuming he's not talking about in the sink. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. No. Well, that um, didn't sound good either. Yeah, no. No, that's that's the metal doors. Oh. Yeah, we have uh, we have metal doors here. Oh, in the dorm? So they're loud. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Let's see here. Where did so people in the chat. What are you guys up to tonight? Also, if you have any requests for lines that you want me to voice, I will oblige. Ooh. Your for voice lines? Actor. Your voice yeah. actor now? People, gi people give me things to say. Oh. I didn't know that was a thing with you. Yep. Yeah, we, we haven't done it on too many of these, but it happens. I'll see. Oh. So they, like uh, do you have any plans of ever taking that apart? Like, as to like when you would, like only when you get a bigger set or something or? Taking which one apart? Your Millennium Falcon. Oh, uh, that's actually interesting. It's been sitting where it has for a long time and yeah. it would be nice to, put something else there, but I don't have a lot of room. The only thing is, believe it or not, I yeah. have never disassembled any Lego set that I've built. Wow. And so it's like, well, what's the right way to do it? I'll tell I you mean, that one. My friend, a friend of mine takes them all kind of apart in reverse order and puts yes. them in bags that match the steps. Yes. Yeah. That sounds like a That's lot of work. 
It, it's, it it's is. not as much work, especially for that set, because if you remember putting it together, it was like this whole panel is bag 10, right? This oh, that's true. Bag 11. So literally you just, it, there's certain points where you had to look at the steps to see kind of, okay, they did this before they put the panel on or something, and you then got to, you know, pull out those pins or something. But it wasn't that bad to take it apart and reverse. Okay. Yeah, I just uh, I get out the manual and I look to see where the build is yeah. before the next bag starts, and that's where I yeah. model it off of. And you know, all the pieces I label all the bags. Yes. So all the pieces of that set are across those bags. So if if it ended up in the wrong bag, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, exactly. And there's another reason I wanted to do that, and that is because since that was the very first set I ever built, and I really didn't know what I was doing, I didn't appreciate all the cool build techniques. Yeah. So, so yeah. I'd like to take it apart and build it again. Yeah, yeah. All right, is this any better? Oh yeah, yeah. much better. Yeah. All right, so uh, at Tuesday when I was doing the Beyond the Bridge thing, um, things were normal, and then afterwards, having the after party chat or whatever. Uh, Emily came into the office and was like, hey, I need your help right now. And, of course, my first thought was, I don't want to lift anything heavy. Yeah. Nope. Uh, water main busted in our uh, garage that led to our hot water heater that led to the kitchen. And we had water, uh, I don't know, about two or three inches of water in our kitchen, garage, and into our living room. And uh, did I mention it's like negative two in Oklahoma right now, and it's a whole bunch of snow? So all of that water that was in the garage turned to ice. Yikes. So that was a fun day. And I've got two industrial strength evaporators out in the living room and kitchen uh, drying it all off right now. Oh, my God. Yeah. Sorry, man. Nah, it's all good. It's a landlord's problem, not mine. We can live well, with it. Yeah, fair enough. But did it, did it like did it uh, damage any of your stuff? Oh yeah, yeah. See, so I mean, d d yeah, hmm. that's no good. It took out a box of my childhood uh, like reports and like things like that. So oh, it's no. okay. It's all right. It's fine. It's not a big deal. It's just okay. stuff. It's not letting me change the but anyway, that's yeah. good. So. It's also why I haven't been uh, streaming this last week at all on my own because the, I'm just I'm a little stressed out. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. No. Yeah. Sorry, folks. I, I've got to make some money here. That's all right. Make some money. Bear, bear with me. Are you, Are you selling Lego or something else? Something else. Okay. Cool. Oh. Huh? Julian, can we talk about it on stream? Is that okay? No, we can talk about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not singing deck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah. 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 I, uh, uh, the, po the, the foil Pokemon cards. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> you right over there. <laughs> There's somebody in my area selling Poe Dameron's uh, orange and white X-Wing for 40 bucks, new in box. Ooh. And uh, I want to hop on it because we made we, Emily and I made a budget for Valentine's Day. And, you know, we I, I got her her stuff, and she's like, I had no idea what to get you. I was like, well, that answer is always Lego, but I understand because there's a lot of Lego things you can do. Mm -hmm. um, so I've just been, like, looking at BrickLink, and the one thing I wanted to order for BrickLink at the price I wanted to pay for it was, like, well, we don't have a payment method listed, so I don't know what to do to help you out with that. So I'm like, what? I just want give me the time cruiser boat thing, please. That's yeah. what I have money. Please take it. So that's where I've been at. But uh, if they want to sell that X wing for forty bucks, I will gladly flip that. I mean, play with it, build it. Yeah, that's what you. Mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what you mean. <laughs> oh, I hate wrapping these strings on things. I don't you know, I hate America. What would you say, Keith? I said I don't bother with it. Yeah, because it's it's just annoying. It's just annoying. I got enough of those in my uh, excess bulk that I don't need another one to deal with. I'm not gonna play with it either to you know wind it up and down and stuff. So yeah, true. So to me, it's it's nice, but I'm good without it. All right, we'll see if he uh, sees a man of his word. 
and yeah. just wants that Pokemon card in a um in an envelope, idiot. <laughs> what? What do you mean in an envelope? He doesn't want me to put it in a package. He wants me to um put it in an envelope. Oh. So hmm. I am not a um <clears throat> No, uh, Jeff, it's been video games and Pokemon cards so far. Yeah. Uh, and then I have a unicorn, a wooden 1970s unicorn wooden uh, Livia. No, I don't know what it's called. It's it's funky and old, and they want it. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. Right. Having a good time. I'm not making any real money, but uh, I was able to borrow to buy uh, Super Mario Brothers, uh, Super no, 3D Land. Yeah, yeah. And me and the boy, we want to really want to play that. So that's cool. Nice. But I still love my Lego. Don't get me wrong. Of course. <laughs> so, but I have I have considered selling some of that as well. <gasps> what are you gonna do? Hey, hey! I, I've sold a few Legos in my time. A couple of a couple of pieces here and there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, can we go till I finish the bags, or do we just want to cut it at the hour? No, no, no. We're going until you're done. So okay. All three of us are done. I am on. I am on step four hundred three. <laughs> you're okay. All right. I'm on four twenty. We'll That's talk you through it. Okay. Exactly. It'll be okay. Deep breath. Okay. Push. Okay. Push. Right. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that should bring back memories. You know, as a matter of fact, it, it, it was the uh, it was the quickest birth I've ever heard of. Oh, uh, Brittany did one practice push, and then Brittany did one real push, and then the midwife caught the baby in the air. Wow, I'm okay. not kidding. Holy, <laughs> I was I was taken aback by. I, I was going to look down and check on everything, and then there was baby. I was like, oh, okay, here we go. We're done. <laughs> All right. It's good times. Good times. Whew. Yeah. We're still tired. I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice, but I, I'm a little tired. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. I can, I yeah. can tell. That's an experience yeah. for sure. <laughs> How's the Mr. Mom thing going for you, Julian? You um, so that? far, the best part about it is my wife is uh, still on maternity leave. And also, when she's done with that, she'll be, uh, she's working from home for the last year. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's going wonderful, but I haven't had to do any. All I'm doing is getting the house in shape right now. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Which is, is a chore of itself, but not one that's like... Um, Parentally laboring, yeah, for lack of a better word. Yeah, having a good time, getting shit done, doing hot, hot dad shit. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> TikTok. <Okay. laughs> right <Damn now>. <laughs> Number love, brother. I know, I know. All right. <laughs> Ain't worried about it at all. Yeah. Dave, what are we doing? What, what, are you almost done, Dave? Yeah, let's see. I don't know how many steps there are. Not too many. I think I just have to do... Yeah, I only have one, one, two, three pages left. Yeah. Um, so, I want to talk about the barrel on the side of that, the building. Yeah. I effing love it. It's a rainwater catchment. Ah. Oh. That's so you can bathe. Mm. Love yeah. it. That's cute. I mean, I'm not just like in love with you know. Hey, -o. money, 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 baby. Cash. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Daddy's going to the post office tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. What? Is that what they're calling it now? <laughs> yeah, going to the post office. <laughs> Wait, did I say that out loud? Never mind. Yeah. It's very inappropriate, Dave. Jeez Louise. Yeah, Dave's the one that's inappropriate. Yeah. <laughs> and TJ. Yeah. Yeah. Is TJ here? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just have my camera off to conserve internet. He's oh. he's in he's in silent mode. 
Wait, no. to conserve internet, what does that mean? It's because the, the Wi-Fi here isn't as good. Oh, ah, gotcha. college sucks. It really, really sucks. Yep, pretty much. How are classes going, TJ? Ah, classes are going okay. We're having it's midterm week. So I have I had two midterms today, although I did one of them yesterday. And then I have another one that's due by Friday. Because these are all online tests now. Yeah. 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 That's a good question. Miss Brick Miss Brick Kitten, words are hard, Jeff can talk. Is asking if any of us have played with your new road plates and what our kiddos or we think about them. No, I, I haven't, but I think they'd make really good bridges. I bought a set, but I haven't had time to play with them yet. But I wanted to just try them and see how they work out. I think there are some good features to them. I also think it's unfortunate that they're going to get rid of the other ones. But what can you do? Yeah, I mean, it, it's yeah. the progression. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm sold on them. But uh, when the new base plates came out. Um, whenever they came out, I don't think everybody was sold on them over the ones they had before, and then the time before that, and then the time before that. Yeah, and fair enough. That's a good yeah, point. I, I don't think this is going to stick around, and if it does, they're going to put plus four on it and be done with it. <laughs> they're going to put what? Plus four. Plus four. Oh. Plus. oh, gotcha. Uh, I've, uh, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. You know, I don't have the money or the space for the road plates right now, so I'm not going to buy any of them. So, I, And I'll just wait until the next road plate system that comes out in 10 years. That's right. Yep. There it is. Yep. That, that is, is the thing to do. That's cool. I do not care for them. No. Uh, I, just, I just sold a Pokemon card that cost me nothing. And I stole from my son. So. <laughs> so it cost you nothing twice. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of fun. Did I put it on the wrong one? I put it on the wrong one. That's what she said. So what's the one said that you guys have sold that you regret? The what? The what we've sold? I yeah. haven't sold a set yet. Nope. No. I, haven't e I haven't either. So I'm, I'm going to soon. What are you selling, PJ? Uh, some of the Star Wars stuff I have. That's good. Probably the, uh, I've got a I've got a Force Awakens Millennium Falcon. I was oh, going to sell that along with most of my sequel trilogy figs. Oh, because go ahead. Because the most of the other sets that I've gotten from the sequel trilogy were battle packs, and the builds for those are inconsequential. It's the figs people really care about. So. I was just going to sell the Falcon with a bunch of the extra figs and be done with it. Mm -hmm. Did I get you the nice chunky change? Yeah. Uh, set that I sold that I regret, or just set that I sold in general? Well, that you sold in regret. Um, if there is one. There is. Uh, when I was getting uh, married the first time, uh, I was really hard up for cash, and my wife at the time, my wife to be, was not a fan of Lego. So, I sold almost all of my Indiana Jones sets. Oh. And I had all of them. Oh no! Yeah, I really regret that. I have like three that I managed to keep hold of. One of them is in pieces, but uh, man, like I'm really kicking myself in the pants. I, I love Indiana Jones. Like that was the thing when I was growing up was that you know my dad would watch movies, and usually it was like movies I shouldn't be watching. So like that was one of them. Rambo. <laughs> Rambo. Yeah. <laughs> I saw Rambo very early on. Okay, so I'm gonna put it to you this way: we're watching Terminator, the first one with Arnold, yeah. and uh, the hotel scene comes up between her him between Kyle and 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 Sarah Kana. He pauses it. Looks over at me and is like, "You've seen those before, right?" I was six. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh. He's like, "Yeah, that's fine." And just, yep. Okay. Yeah. So that was interesting. I had a fun time with my father when I was very, very little. On a completely random note, a friend of mine texted me and said, "I don't know why, but that tree reminds me of the home tree from Avatar." 
That's fair. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, God, remember when that was a big deal? <laughs> Actually, quite, I still quite like that movie myself. Oh, yeah, I, I like it too, but like, remember it was just like everywhere for the longest time. Oh, yeah. I never so, saw it. So here, here's a random question, Jeff. Can I, can I ask one? Of course you can. 3D movies. What do people think of 3D movies? Oof. You can't be doing that, baby. She's trying to feed. She's trying to um, nurse me. Oh no, that doesn't work so well. The plumbing's not quite right. Uh, <laughs> girl, stop! Uh oh. I don't want to stop, Daddy. <laughs> I'm hungry. I thought I was muted. <laughs> nope, you weren't. Uh, I'm so uh, before I had my glasses, uh, I was okay with it, like everything else. But now that I have my my peepers, I uh, I'm not a fan of 3D movies because you know it doesn't ever really like work with glasses that well. So yeah. That's actually an interesting point, Jeff. Maybe that's why I don't like them as well, but they, they've never really done much for me. I've just not right. much cared for them. I've never seen a 3D movie, and I don't plan on seeing one either. Yeah, I don't think you, any. Not they're not nearly. I'm interested in. Yeah, they're not nearly as bright. I don't think the effect works very well. And yeah, I just, it just doesn't. It's not interesting. And it's always or, something stupid, like an axe or something flying at you. You're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Now, having said that, I the reason I brought that up is that I did actually see Avatar in 3D because I had a friend who gave me free tickets to see it. And that was the only movie I've ever seen, 3D movie, where it actually made good use of 3D. It wasn't gratuitous like Pirates of the Caribbean with somebody pointing a sword right into the camera. It was it was actually useful. It was it was the spice, not the meal. Right. That, well, that, I mean, James Cameron is also say what you want about the guy. He's big tech savvy, but he's also a pretty good filmmaker. Like when it yep. comes down to it. <laughs> yep. I really miss. I really like. I'm hoping that like maybe one day he'll be like, you know what? I'm gonna revisit Aliens and we get an awesome Alien movie with Space Marines again. And apparently, Avatar two and three are still being worked on apparently simultaneously, and they're supposed to be out in a year or two. Whatever. Think. Never gonna happen. <laughs> It's like half like ye, ye of little faith, Julian. Hey, speaking of disappointments, uh, you know what movie I was really disappointed in that didn't come out last year that should have, besides Ghostbusters? Dune. What's that? Ah. Mm. That movie looked dope. Which one? Dune. Oh. I gotta watch that one. Hi, Dave. Dave, what are you doing? I'm done. I'm just you guys, here. Pete, are you done? Yeah. I'm done too. All right, back to me on the big screen. Whatever, boys. <laughs> I am on. I am on number four ten. Uh, you're not that bad. You're good. <laughs> you don't know. I had to take a baby break. That's fair. Yeah, it's important. She was hungry. What? Hey, has anybody ever seen the movie The Thirteenth Floor? I've seen oh. Thirteen Ghosts. I think. I don't think so. What is it, Jeff? It's um, it's a, it's a really not old. Well, God, yeah, now it is old. It's a twenty-year-old science fiction movie that was about people that were creating um, virtual reality that was real and everything else. And it's just a, a really, it was a the Matrix before it was the Matrix. Nice. It was a really good movie. Interesting. You mean yeah. a Lego movie before it was the Matrix? Wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Womp womp. Brett Hoopa is back. Hoopa. Hey, that is what she said. Hello again, Brett. You're right. It is. The, the, it, it's really cool. Got to talk to the guys that designed that, and it was a good time. They had a lot of love for that project. And while, we're, while we're waiting, Julian, I have to show you uh, something that I made. I'm going to make a much better version, but you, you need to look up because you'll get a kick out of this. I'm ready. Okay. You see my screen now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> woo. Uh, woo woo I love it I was just having fun with my video editing software and I'm going to do something much fancier for the, the uh, Sunday night stream 
So, um, any, yeah, and you can send anything you want to me. Anybody who wants to make anything, send it to me. I will use it. Uh, oh, well. It's a good way for me to learn the software, so I figured why not? I'll have some fun. Absolutely. Did you ever ask me that question, or was I too sauce to answer? <laughs> which which question? You, you was like, I was going to ask you a question, but I think you're too drunk now. <laughs> what, I said that? Yeah, the other night. Oh, I don't remember anymore. That was a long no, time ago. No, you was, so you was too drunk. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Sure. <laughs> All right. So I didn't tie the string or get the hook to it, so whatever. Yeah, we did the same. Yeah. Yep. Well, we got enough of those things. I'm with you boys. Yeah. That movie I need to watch that I haven't watched in a while. That's one of my favorites. Actually, one of yeah, probably my favorite. Oh brother, where art thou? Mm. That's a good one. I love that movie. Raising Arizona is the other one. Yes. I don't know if we talked about this, but I swear by it. Did you guys attach it to the tree? Yeah. Yes. You didn't even warn me about that. Well, this one was easier. So, so I'm not putting water in the container. Either. No, I don't do that either. I'm I'm not doing parts. that. Yeah, I don't put loose parts in. That's, I did, but <laughs> you just lose them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. you might. Dave, do you have little? Do you have little children running around your house? No, I do not. There not not last time I checked, anyway. <laughs> well, I, I lose them because I'll pick it up to like move it around or something like that, and yeah. I'll, there's loose things in it, and all of a sudden they're all over the floor. I respect that. I don't do that, and I don't put the uh, the studs and the shooters, or nope. the uh, the missiles and the foot fire things. Nope. No. Nope. Me neither. Don't leave any loaded weapons around, right? No sir. You That's could, right. You could shoot your eye out. Exactly. <laughs> like you don't want any, yeah. You don't want any domestic violence happening. I love I love how I'm under pressure right now because everybody else is done just waiting for me. It's like, <laughs> good lord, help me out. Hey, we're not we're not pressuring you. It's all good. No. Yeah, I mean, it's really simple. Once you put the, the piece on there, you just build the steps, basically. You say it's not, that. It's not like we have other videos to film or anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, okay, there is, okay. So, I just, yeah. Blew my mind over here. There's so much pieces left, and I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah I know, right? <laughs> we're, putting, we're, putting it on the, uh, we're putting it on this guy right here. Uh nope. You're putting them on the, the one right next to the existing one. That's on the same level, so not up too high. I got you. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. All right, hang on. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear the baby crying. Yes, we can. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. But that's okay. Yeah, life, life goes on. Yeah. yeah. Miss Brick Kitten says, I was moving some TIE fighters for a display, and the launchers went off, still missing one of the blaster bolts. See? Yeah, yeah. that can happen. What what will happen to me? What will happen to me is I'll be moving one around. I'll accidentally fire one of the missiles off. I'll lose it, so I'll, I'll pull one of the extras out of the pick a brick cup that I used to store all the extras of those, and then I'll find it about five months later when I'm rearranging. The that is way much room. easier. Yeah. Right. See that one was much easier. Oh, much easier. But the door is a, okay. So the door is like butt up against the um, not that door. Good lord. What are you doing? Well, that door is right here next to the tree. You got it. You got it in the right spot. Because now you're going to uh, connect the uh, steps after you build the steps there. Cool. I'm nodding my head, but you can't see it. It's cool. I, uh, we agree with you. Yeah. We know, we know what time it is. Yeah. We All right, understand. class. We understand. So, Dave, let me ask you about your collection behind you there. Yes. All of those drawers. Um, how many did you start with? And how many have you expanded to? You you mean how many drawers? No, how many of those of those shelving of those systems? You know, so consider I see if, if there's nine or sorry seven on the wall behind you. Wow. They're gone. Yeah, those are actually they're uh, they're uh, 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 I'm spacing out. Oh, acromills. No, yeah, still stack on. But the same thing. Yeah. So um, you started I, you started your collection. You grabbed how many? Oh, I mean, I haven't really grown that much over time. I, I think I bought two here and two there over a period of a few months. But really, the bulk of my part storage is Sterilite bins, and that came after I watched a video from uh, Daryl on Bevan's Bricks, and he showed what he had done. And so I have all oh, of these. Yeah. I have all of these, and then I have 
a bunch more down here, bigger ones. That's yeah. Awesome. So that's the bulk of my storage said. now. Can't see uh -huh. So what do you have in the, uh, the small ones behind you? Just the small parts then? Um, yeah, like one by one plates, one yeah. by two plates, tiles, technic pieces, small technic pieces, um, stuff like that. Uh -huh. And then off over on this side, well, you can't see where I'm pointing. Over here yeah. is all my bigger plates, two by four, two by six, two by eight up to 16 by 16 and two by four bricks and a bunch of other stuff oh, like that. Hey, um, Dave. Yes. Yeah. Dave, we need you tonight. Yeah, I know. Okay. That's I why know, I, I don't know what was said. I that's just, why I jokingly made the comment of, so you don't need to be in a hurry. It's not like we have any videos to film or anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay whatever. <laughs> 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 You guys got me stressed out right now. No. No, you yeah. stressing yourself out. We're not stressing you out. You're doing it to yourself. Yeah. You guys are totally stressing me out. Yeah, yeah we're so mean. <sighs> yeah. That's where I'm at, boys. Oh, nice. Looks good. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. I got it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you know, whenever I make money, I freak out. I hear you. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I, I understand, Julian. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, Mr. Kitten. Good luck. What happened? What happened? Okay. Uh, uh, moving I'm planning. Over, find a two-bedroom and building a, a Lego room. Ooh. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Oh, here you go, Julian, Mr. Non-Believer. This is from uh, uh, Wikipedia. It says, following, this is Avatar. Following the film's success, Cameron signed with 20th Century Fox to produce four sequels. Avatar wow. 2 and 3 have completed principal filming and are scheduled to release on December 16th, 2022 and December 20th, 2024. Wow. Guess what? Guess what, Dave? You don't believe it. That's what? No, Dave. I knew that was the truth. But isn't that crazy that the lead time on the movies like that? Yeah, well, his movies. I'm not surprised because yeah, I mean, didn't the original one take like seven years or something? Yes. That's crazy. And it's still garbage. No? <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I actually, I'm going to get myself in trouble here, but I quite like the movie both from a production perspective and I also really like the story because I'm an environmentalist at heart. No, there's nothing wrong with liking that. Why would you get in trouble for that? We there's all kinds in the Lego community. Fair I, enough. I liked I like to bathe in plastic. It's cool. <laughs> and that's okay. We don't judge. We're okay with that. <laughs> I'm judging you for that. That's weird. Yeah, right. <laughs> you don't want to hear about some of the weird things I do then, Jeff. <laughs> Fair enough. Wow. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna it's say. Weird quick. Yes, it did. Not the and, I haven't, and I haven't even had any beer. <laughs> You're doing yeah, I'm just, you don't need I'm just naturally intoxicated. <laughs> oh god. I'm high on life. That's right. All right. We're get yeah. Oh, that one's gone. Oops. Well, we're glad they give you extras. <laughs> yep. Let's hope so. <laughs> yeah, you'll have extras on the way. But yeah, I, after I attached the stay away, I thought that was really nice. Uh, I said after I attached the stay away, I thought that was really nice. Yeah, I'm 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 digging on it already. I like the way they put the the railings. No, no, they, I like the railings too, but I like the what you call it down there. The hoop? the uh, the path, the uh, the wooden disc. I like oh, the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> They're not stairs, but yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's like a, it's like a it's like a plank bridge. Yeah, there you go. That's the word. They walk in the plank. That's right. Arr, Did you take arr. the food out of her mouth? Did you just take food out her mouth? No, she's not. She's hey, wait, wrong. wait. Taking food out. Never mind. I'm not going to say that. Uh, I'll say that when the stream is done. Child. Oh, she's fine. She can scream. Yeah. Nope. There is not an extra one of the. Uh, mm -mm. Nope. The one I dropped. Oh damn it! <laughs> I will be right back. 
Yeah, I know you All right. did. All right, so. Now you got to off. So I will talk to you guys later. Have Brother, I appreciate you, man. All right. Anytime. Thanks for, moderating. Thanks for the question. No problem. Later, fellas. Later. Bye, Bye Jeff. And then there were four. Uh, Did you find it? No. No, and I think I'm going to end up having to go on the floor. Well, you cannot. You know what? It, it won't stop you from attaching it at least. Yeah, you're right. And when you do finally find it, you know you can always. Okay. Back. Hello, yeah. Moto. What up, Moto? Hey, Moto. I leave for a minute and Jeff disappears. I see how yeah. it is. He, yeah. said, he literally said, "I can't be around him anymore." Yeah. And him is you. Yeah. <laughs> You know how to really find the part is you let the, the little one come into the room and say, Alex, I have it already. Alex, I have his hot little hands. Oh, no doubt about it. Yeah. All right. Right. Isn't that cool? That is cool. Yeah. Tough. And then I'll find yeah. the piece that goes here. Yeah. Hey, all right. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So till next time. Yeah. Here's where we are. Hey, let's make hey, let's make like a tree and leave. <laughs> and get and get out of here. Make right, like a tree and get, get out, out of here. here. Yeah. All right, gang. Uh, All right. Thanks, thanks for coming. For what do we have to remember, Julian? You gotta love those bricks. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>